I recently got an excellent question from a student of mine in one of my Microsoft Excel courses that I host on Udemy. Take a look. The question was, hey, I want to create a pivot table based on data across multiple worksheets. Open in front of you, I have an example of this. I've got four worksheets inside this workbook. A worksheet about East records, a worksheet about West, North, and South. Now, very important to point out here, each of these worksheets are practically identical. They've got the same column headers, region, category, and the three months. The only difference is the data that's found within those lists. One deals with East records, another deals with Wests, and so on. So this data, I want to take it all and I want to merge it into one master list. Now in the past, I've seen people copy and paste. They'll take data from each of these four worksheets and paste them into what we we'll consider the master list, creating one massive list that contains all the data and then basing your pivot table off of that. Well, here's an alternative. This is kind of a hidden feature found within the newer versions of Microsoft Excel. Now, way back when, 2003 and earlier of Microsoft Excel, we used to have what's called the pivot table wizard. It was like four steps that would walk you through the process of setting up your initial pivot table. Well, when the 2007 edition came out, that pivot table wizard went away. But we still have access to it. And because we still have access to it, we can use multiple consolidated ranges as our pivot table source. Watch this. So first step, I'm gonna click into my East records here and on my keyboard, I'm gonna run a shortcut key here. I'm gonna press Alt D, D like dog, Alt D. This activates my office access keys. Now I can press a menu sequence that was used in the earlier versions of the office suite. So now I'm gonna press the letter P, P for pivot table. This opens up my pivot table and pivot chart wizard. So now my first step is I wanna get my data from multiple consolidated ranges. I'm gonna create a pivot table. I'll hit next. Now the page fields, these are the filters, the filter area within a pivot table. I'm gonna say I wanna create my own page fields. I'm gonna hit next. Now I get to go grab all the ranges of data that I want to analyze in a pivot table. So I'm going to click in the range. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab my East records. I'm just going to grab from B1 down to E15. Notice I'm leaving off the A column, the region column. That's the, the identifier for this data. And that's something I'm going to use within the page field. Talk some more about that here in a moment. So I'm going to add that. Now I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm gonna do it for West. I'll go grab the West data, again, leaving off the region. I'll add that, and I gotta do it two more times here. Here comes the North, add it, and one more time for the South, I'll add it. Now each of these, again, they're the same data, same setup, same columns, just different records for different regions. So now I need to identify that this right here, East records, is the East data. And I'm going to do this by using one of the page fields. So down here, I'm going to activate A1 page field. And with East records selected, I'm going to label this as East. There we have it. Then I'm going to go through and do the same here. Here's North. I'll label this one as the North records. Here comes the South records. And then one more. Here's the West records. So I've got my data sources, I've got my page fields or the filters, the filter part of the pivot table. I'll hit next and here's my last step. I just get to say where I wanna create the pivot table. I'm gonna do a new worksheet. So I'm gonna hit finish and I've now got a pivot table based on multiple consolidated ranges, multiple worksheets worth of data here, all consolidated into one pivot table. So you can see here that they're giving me the row labels as my different categories for my different sheets. There's my categories there. And it's summing up the sales amounts for the three different months. 
and I've got a grand total as well. And the page fields happen up here. There's my four, let's expand that a little, my four regions, and if I select one, I've now got just the data for north, here's the east, and so on. Now, that's all about consolidating multiple worksheets worth of data into one data source to be used within a pivot table. Remember the shortcut key, Alt-D on your keyboard, and then the letter P. This will activate the pivot table wizard. Now, here's one additional bonus that you're going to get by watching this video. Take a look. Now, remember, we've got data, our respective data, on the four separate worksheets. I want just one massive list, one master list that contains all of this data. Well, this is really quick with the pivot table. I'm going to come over here to my pivot table fields, and I'm going to take out the three options. First, you know what? I'm going to get back to all my records here. So I'm going to take out the page fields. I'm going to take out the column. I'm going to take out the row. So I'm left with just the grand total sales for all of the records across all four worksheets. Now, here's a really neat one. I'm going to come over to this value. I'm going to give it a double click. Click, click. This creates a brand new worksheet, and it's now the master list for all of the data. Every region, every sale, every month, every category across all four of the earlier worksheets. Now, they gave me some default column headers there, row, column, value, and page. I'm just going to rename those. This should be category. Let's make sure I spell that right. Category, this should be month. This should be sales, and this should be region. I've now got the master list of all of that data, and I've got my pivot table. Try this out. Find your data that's across multiple worksheets. Use that shortcut key, Alt-D plus the letter P. Open up the pivot table wizard, and off you go.